morning, a new online hoax is causing problems for emergency dispatchers in several states. Tweets that seem harmless promise cool videos or new music albums, but something in the posts takes over phones, forcing them to dial 911 over and over. Police in Washington have already made an arrest, and now they have an urgent warning for everyone. Suzanne Pham inve uh, investigated this problem. 911, what are you reporting? In an emergency, every second counts. But Tuesday night, instead of dealing with emergencies, 911 operators at Thurston County Communications were dealing with someone's practical joke. And all of a sudden, the phone's just one off the hook. Bogus calls flooded the lines, one every 30 seconds for nearly half an hour. It was startling and it was frightening. We had no idea that that could happen. Lacey police say their suspect claims he got a link from a friend and tweeted this message in all caps. I can't believe people are this stupid. It also included a link. When people clicked on it, it hijacked their cell phones, forcing them to call 911 over and over. It physically just like looked like it was like 911 calling. So it was just like a black screen and it kept saying 911, 911, and every single time you click and it was like recalling, calling, 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 calling. So like there was no way to stop it. Andrea Jara clicked on the link in Florida. Law enforcement there and in California also issued warnings showing different posts from different accounts making the rounds, all with the same link. It was just impossible to keep up. And then once our um, phone software crashed, it we had to reboot that. And when people hang up or turn off their phones to make it stop, it wastes even more time because operators must make sure the caller is okay. I feel horrible because it was like blowing up their phone and like I don't want them to come to my house when it's not an emergency. They could be saving someone else's lives. 911 isn't a joke. We're here doing real work, trying to help real people. To stop those calls, some victims had to pull out their batteries. The suspect told police he thought he was being funny when he posted that link. Obviously not. He now faces felony charge that carries up to a year in jail if convicted.